So we are going to be picking some tomatoes. Yep, we got, actually I think we're gonna to try to can a few. Yeah. Tomorrow maybe. Yes. I, we love can, uh, can tomatoes like when you do chili or something, just yeah. throw a can in and grind them up. Mm -hmm. They're so good. So good we've got in the garden right now, we've got a whole bunch that is coming in red and we've got some yellow ones here. So I'm just going to put you guys on a time lapse while we go through and pick some tomatoes. So we picked about a bucket of tomatoes and we have, and those are just the red ones, and we have some yellow tomatoes that we are going to be picking too. I just want you guys to see the watermelons oh my gosh last year we had horrible luck our watermelons did not grow and this year they are growing brian how do you know when they're ready when they're not green them has to turn brown yeah and they're going to be a little bit yellow on the bottom they ain't even close okay yeah we're just kind of watching these <clears throat> this one is the biggest one so far and then we've got a couple others, and then there's something in here moving around. <laughs> Your worst enemy with watermelon? Yes. Is kids. <laughs> or adult kids. Or adult kids. Because you guys every day keep asking, can we pick it? Are they it? ready? Are they ready? I'm like, do not pick it. Because if you pick it, you ain't going to be able to put it back on the good. vine. It will not be good. If you pick it too soon, it's not good. It's another, oh, another. watermelon. Yeah. Grow. Growing on its way. Hey, what our red tomatoes just aren't doing that well this year. Remember last year they were coming out of the top of the cages. Yeah, I'm gonna redirect the watermelon right here. You can kind of pull them away, and if they're uh, like they were trying to climb up the cages of the tomatoes, so I just pulled them away. Right. I wonder if the tomatoes is from the splitting. You mean? Yeah, the splitting. I wonder if it has to do something with the rain. I don't know. And our cucumbers have been not very good yeah cucumbers didn't do good we've at just all. kind of given up on the cucumbers we're getting a lot of, oh, that's a gross tomato <laughs> we're getting a lot of tomatoes but they're just uh they're not they're not like they were last year no <laughs> yeah, we're getting enough we could probably can a few Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to our video. Today we're going to be in the kitchen. We are going to be canning a bunch of tomatoes and we are going to be using our our digital pressure canner to show you how to do that. So hopefully you, you enjoy this video. First off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to boil some of the rings in some hot water. And when I say, or I mean lids. So I'm going to boil about We've got two canners going, or we will have two canners going. And so I'm going to boil about eight of these and this will sanitize those. So we're gonna get that So started. I just wanna encourage you guys, as if you have one of these canners, make sure you check out the manual because it will tell you the cook time on each thing. It'll tell you um, what you need to do, what you need to add to each vegetable, fruit, meat, whatever it is you're canning. This is extremely helpful resource as you're using um, these digital canners. Um, this is not a, this is not a sponsor video, but we have this particular canner canner in general, and so I just want to encourage you to use this manual before you start. Um, just do your research before you start any sort of canning or water bath. So now on each digital canner, you will see it says flashing pressure can. So I'm going to select that. And the cooking time for tomatoes is 25 minutes. So I'm actually going to adjust each one of them now to 25 minutes. And these canners, basically, when you have the big jars, they basically only hold about four. That's why we got a second one, so that we can can more at one time. 
but they do hold more of the half quarts. So Brian is going to put the lid on. Now it's in the lock position. And then you're gonna put the lid on and turn it. And then you're gonna press start. Same with this one over here. Just put the lid on, line it up. Put the lock position, put the arm down. And then press start. So right now Brian is just getting the tomatoes ready, putting them in the boiling water. Blanching them so they peel. So that the skin kind of comes off quickly or easily, right? Easily, yeah. And then back in the back, we've got the lids getting ready to boil. So how long did you put those? How long were they cooking? Not about very long. long. About three or four minutes. Maybe. And and then drop them in ice water. Put them in the ice water. And this, you can actually see like some of the skin. See how it's just coming right off like that. Oh, I'm sorry. The pinch areas. But the skin is basic. It's really just coming right off. And that's what you're wanting to do. Right. You know, it just peels right away. It has beeped now fill jars. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open. And we're gonna remove one jar at a time. I'm gonna leave this one still with the lid on. We're gonna remove one jar at a time and then we're gonna start packing the jars. What we're gonna do is you're gonna empty the jar of the water. We're gonna add two tablespoons of lemon to each jar and one teaspoon of salt. This is so hard to get out. And we use the canning salt. So now you can basically start packing your jars. Do you want to do this process? No, I need to get these water out of these jars. Maybe do one at a time. I know, but I'm not down with this one. So you're just gonna add the two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you a second one and then we'll put you on a time lapse. And then canning salt. And then we're gonna pack it. Is this what you're wiping the top off with, the vinegar? Yes, right here. Here's the vinegar. Here's a lid, and they said that you just want to, just enough, because you want it to vent. Okay. Then you, it goes right back in. Here's the process again. Kind of push them down a little bit so they don't 
not like a lot of air in there. Shove it over to the side. Oh. <laughs> You're scarring yourself. Shove that one to the side. Shove that one to the side. That should be about pretty good. Maybe that's the one I'm using for that vinegar. So, stuff Next, we're gonna take the lid. This one is ready, it's full. We're gonna put it back on, making sure it's in the lock position. And then we're gonna close this. Now we do not want to put this on during the venting process. So now that they're all in there, we're going to press start. And while it says heating up, we're going to leave this off for right so now. So here Brian is, we've got some yellow tomatoes that we're also getting ready to put into the second canner. It's ready for us. So he's just doing the same process that we used with the red ones. He's pulling the skin off of them and then we're gonna start filling the other can. This one is already heating up. You can see the vent coming or the steam coming out. It's not time yet to put the venter. What is this called, Brian? This piece. Venter, I guess. <laughs> I can't think of what it's called. Um, this little venting cap. It's not time to put that on yet. This canner will let you know when it is time to do that. So, but it's getting close. beeping at me time to can put regulator on so I'm just gonna take this and leave it in the can position and then I'm going to press start and it is gonna pressure can for 25 minutes so both canners are done you see it beep done but then also what you have to do is wait for it to cool down and once it is done this little pin was up it will drop once that has happened, then you can safely open your canner and remove all your cans. Oh, hold on. Look at that pretty color. We've got our red ones and our yellow tomatoes over there. They are so pretty. I think the next canning session, we're gonna mix the red and the yellow together. But that's how we did it this time. They're very hot. <laughs> okay. So you're just gonna, these are really, really hot, so you don't wanna lift them out with your hands. You're just gonna use these. And then we're just going to put them over here on this towel. And you need to let them sit for about 24 to 48 hours before you even crack them open. And you wanna make sure they have sealed. I'm not gonna touch it yet, but you will hear um, a popping noise. A lot of times when I'm pulling them out, the lids will start sealing and you'll hear a pop, but I would wait probably 12 to 24 hours before you check to see if the, it has sealed. If it did not, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't use that content. But that's really all you do. And we hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next one.